Hello my darlings, welcome back. Today there's five reasons why I decided to get wiggy with it and I'm going to share those with you. I'm going to show you what I do with my hair and then we're going to put on one of my favorite wigs. Reason number one that I did it was because of thin hair and as you can see here I have really thin hair. Now I had back in my 30s and here's some pictures of me when I had dark brunette hair and I had volume but as you can see now it's very thin you can see a lot of thinness around the front of my hair and you can also see if I turned around that it's really thin on the back and that's where I have the hardest time getting any volume in my hair. As you've seen some of my videos, I work really hard with product and, and curlers and stuff like that. That's great for dry weather days and my hair can hold it. But if I'm outdoors, I'm going anywhere, then that hairstyle usually just falls flat and I have just this thin hair. So I decided this past year to get a wig and see how I liked it. And at first, and I'll tell you the steps to go through it later in the video, but I tell you what, it changed all my fears about it. I had the biggest fears of wearing a wig because back in my 30s and back then the first when wigs were out, Oh, they were horrible. And, and I want you to know that today they are spectacular, the way they fit and how most people never know you have one on. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is, is how I put it up. So first of all, this is a method that works good for me because I don't have really super thick hair. If you have really thick longer thick hair then you would want to do maybe a double dutch braids down the back and that will distribute that volume of hair throughout your cap so you don't get any big bump in the back i braid it down like this and as you know if you've gone through menopause going through menopause postmenopausal and long hair it just when that hair gets wrapped around your neck during the night Oh my gosh, this helps eliminate wrapping it around your neck and feeling like you're choking to death. These I got, I think, on Amazon, little plastic elastics. And I these are a little bit thicker ones that I like. And I use those on the bottom. I just take my fingers, divide it out in three, and braid away. And of course, I have a mirror here in front of me, so every once in a while I need to look down at the mirror to see to see what I'm doing doesn't have to be super neat because it all gets shoved up under your wig. You could just go with your braids, but I'm going to show you what a wig grip is and how I use that wig grip. If I have a really small cap, a wig with a small cap, I don't use the wig grip, but if I have one that has a little bit extra room in it or I'm going to be on my bike and it's going to be blowing all around, then I put a wig grip. And that's one of these. So I take my braid and I wrap it around the back of my neck to the other side. And I take a bobby pin and I pin that down. Then I take the other one and I wrap it around and put that one on and then I pin it down. So that's the first thing I do to get it all up under there. Like I said, this is great for sleeping at night. The other thing is a wig grip and you can buy these on Amazon. I'll, I'll, these are on Amazon. I'll link it below. They're a velour in one direction. It's grippy. If you've ever rubbed your finger across velour velvet, this way is grippy and this way is smooth. So you want the grippy facing forward so the wig doesn't slide back. Um, this is one and then I got these which are my favorite because it has a little bit of net right there. Wherever you place your part, depending on the wig, if it's in the middle or the side, well, I found that this really does help with so that it looks more natural shining through because mine's a white wig. And this one I use is basically the lightest color I could find. It's more like my skin tone. Uh, if you have darker hair, go with the dark one. The way I'm going to place it, and it has Velcro on it. When it's like this, the whitest part is at the front of my hairline and the grip is, that's the right direction for the grip. And then I just take that, have it close to my hairline, behind my ears, and wrap it around. And it depends on you what tightness that you want. But you don't want it going anywhere, so that also helps hold, for me, those braids down in the back a little bit better. So that's the wig grip. And I would suggest getting one. And as you can see here, then that kind of gives me a scalp look there at the front. Now, because of the wig I'm going to show you today is a more of a silver wig, so it's closer to my color. Now, I can only say, I can say, 
make sure that your first wigs is go with something close to your natural hair color because if you go off your hair color in the beginning it's going to seem really strange and more people will ask you if you colored your hair or something what i can tell you is this the first time i i was so scared i got my i got my first wig and i was so scared to walk into my husband for him to see it because I, I just didn't want to go what you're wearing a wig what happened was is i walked in and he didn't say anything and he didn't notice now this is much thicker than my hair and it's longer and i was like okay well, maybe it's because my he's my husband and a man. He may not know it, but may not notice the details. But that, that's not it. The other thing was is then when I first time I wore it around my daughter, and finally after being with her for hours and hours, I said, "How do you like my wig?" And she's like, "That's a wig." Again, someone really close to me that I thought would have known that I was wearing a wig. Same thing with everybody that I know. Just never know if I have a wig on. Now, now they do a lot of times because if I wear a different color wig or go from long to short, then yes, they definitely know something's different. But now they just know me and know that, that I love them and I feel really confident and comfortable with them. This is, is one of my very first wigs and I absolutely love her. This is a Ra Raquel Welch, well played. And she has, she has a lace front and a left part. Now, one of the things that I do with these wigs, and I have noticed that on the lace front, is that when I get makeup on it, that I can use the micellar water and I guess it just right off. Or if I get it in the hairline in the front, because maybe I've touched my face or something, and then touched my hair, it comes right out with micellar water. The other thing that I like to do is when I wash it, I actually, with all my wigs, put them in fabric softener and soak it into the sink and then rinse it out with cold water and then I hang them to dry and they just turn out soft and beautiful. This is uh, Raquel Welch Well Played and she is heat friendly can tend to in the back get a little bit um, the corkscrew and the ends will kind of corkscrew just from rubbing against each other and there's real easy to combat that and the reason why it happens is it's rubbing against your collar whatever way or maybe you're leaning against the couch or the car head seat it's always it's rubbing so of course it will get tangled just like real hair does use a wide tooth comb is to comb it out if it gets all corkscrew like that feels a bit from the wind blowing and rubbing it'll just get like it's getting frizzy a little bit i get my curling out at a very low heat i just smooth it out and it just restores it so nicely so i'll show you how i put it on now it has these little straps to tighten it hold it where this is the back the nape of the neck and this is here in the front and then i just Put my, just put your head into it and pull it down. I pull it over the nip and then fling it back. Place the hairline where it's near your normal hairline. Don't You don't want to come down where it's not normal. Comb it out. You can use wig wax if it needs to be retrained. But today I just wanted to show you and show you why I wig it. Now this is another reason why to get it in your natural color is before I put it on is I can and before I put in my braids is pull your hair down before you do that or after with this white tooth I just pull it down like that it's got little ear tabs to press and see how that right there is coming out of my, looks like it's coming right out of my head I get on this side but there, just pulling a little bit of that out. I love this well played. Um, these wigs can actually be curled with low heat. You could curl it, straighten it, but it's a beautiful wig with a very natural hairline and very close to my bio hair color. That is my first reason is to get this volume and thickness. And as I said, you'll be so surprised at the people that won't know you're wearing a wig. They won't even know. They won't even know. You can tuck it behind your ear, pull some of this down in the front. Just play with it until you're happy with the look that you want. 
You can use hair clips. You could put it, if you have a long wig, you can put it in a ponytail. But this is how I wear my hair a lot. One behind one ear and down on the other side. So this is my Raquel Welch well played. And I think Raquel Welch's wigs are beautiful. This is the one that I feel like has such a great um, natural natural hairline and fits really well. It's, it's real true to size. As an, I'm an average, Raquel Welch's wigs are just fabulous. So this is the one that is my go-to wig. I like it because I can also put a hat on, um, especially if I'm on my bike and I want to keep the sun or the rain off my face. It's just really nice and it's summertime, so a straw hat looks really good with it. Five reasons was thin hair, growing your hair out gray. So when you're transitioning and you know how you get that, maybe you have brun you know gray hair and the rest is brunette or red or blonde and you just can't deal with it because it's so hard and you don't want to cut your hair all off, wig it, just wig it. Or if you want long hair and you have really short hair, because it was the best thing to do, or you have no bio hair at all, then wig it. If you have long hair, and you know how all your, those friends and family that say, oh, well, you know, you're in your 60s now, and you know, women shouldn't have long hair in their 60s. We, we know those people, and um, they say, oh, you should go with a short wig. So I have a short wig. I'll, I'll wear this in my, one of my next videos, and put on a short wig and now all those people will be happy but it just also gives you a really fun style so in the summer this may get a little bit too hot on my neck and this is going to be great for being outside and it, I know it is summer but in the Netherlands it we don't have summer like from Texas where I'm from and the last one is you just want to change colors so I have decided to find a blonde one and I found this blonde this is one by signature and she's lovely. She's probably the least density, low density, and I'm glad I got her. And that's where I want to suggest to you which ones to pick out first. The first wig that you want to get is one that's closest to your bio hair and that has the lowest density or the same amount as density as you're used to. Because the first time, I have another wig that is actually the very first one I got. It's a John Renault Claire. And when I first put it on, it was too much volume. It, was, it made me feel like I was wearing a wig because it was so much volume. And, but everybody loved it and no one knew I was wearing it. So there you go. And then I decided to also get this one in a blonde. This by Signature. And she feels the lightest and the most um, closest to my uh, density that I was used to growing up. So I was really happy with her and will probably get more, get another one like similar to this if I can. The other thing that when I found her, now these wigs, you can get them and there's places to get them at really great prices and discount prices. They're also throughout Facebook are some wig groups that sell people sell their and so for instance there's ladies that buy a wig like this is you know it's basically brand new and no modifications and no changes and the lady who bought it it just didn't like it on her she didn't like the color and she decided that she was willing to give it up at a really good price i'll add some links um, to where you can find it my first jean Renault claire i found on amazon like I said, there are other wigs I want in my life. I've gotten bitten by the wig bug, and so I think you'll see a lot more of wigs in my future because I absolutely love them, and it's built my confidence up. I feel ageless with them because it gives me back the volume I used to have. If you have any questions about what I've shared with you today or about this wig, leave some comments down below, and I'll get back to you. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Doing my darlings. Bye.